Hi, and welcome to Metro Woman. I'm Tam Milligan, and today I'm out here in Batavia, Iowa, near Ottumwa, and you're going to meet someone very special who followed her dream. Have you ever thought, why didn't I think of that when you see these clever inventions? You're going to meet someone who did just that, and her name is Deb Chance and she's going to tell you all about her wonderful invention called Dining Stones. Well, Deb, I love your home out here. It's just beautiful. So tell us about how you came to live here and building the home and where you lived before here. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, uh, we lived in Grinnell, my husband and I and our daughter, uh, and we lived there for 10 years. And during that time, we were actually, we had this dream of living in the country. Okay. So that was our first dream that we wanted to fulfill. Sure. Uh, we had a vision of having woods and property and you know just kind of landscape it do whatever we wanted with it but mostly living in a log cabin and that came from we would always vacation in a cabin okay and so then we decide why are we living in this house there you go you know, we need to live where we where we will love to vacation right. and turn it into our vacation so home. your home became your vacation that home exactly and it right. became year round that's right <laughs> perfect that's, that's now time. by moving out here into this beautiful setting you also had another dream come true and tell us what that dream was okay for about 25 years i've been wanting to have my own business and um, so I, I didn't know exactly what I wanted it to be, but I knew I wanted it to be unique and, and offer a service. Sure. I am always frustrated by my food getting cold on the plate mm -hmm. during a meal. I hear you. <laughs> and I, I was trying to find a solution online. I was, you know, searching the internet and, and there wasn't anything that didn't involve cords. Oh, right. So mm -hmm. that frustrates me. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to um, have a cord in the middle of the table exactly. and <laughs> to keep my food warm. Yeah. So I remembered my father telling me when he was a child, his parents would put um, stones in, on top of the wood-burning stove to warm his bed before he went to bed. Oh, you're Be right. Yeah, because I you remember stories. that? Okay. Yes. So I, I had a small flat stone. It was a, a tile a stone, granite, and I, I cleaned it up. It was in the garage, and I cleaned it up, put it in the oven, and, and went from there. It, it just, the whole thing, uh, became alive during that whole the genesis of that whole idea to solve that problem sure. that I had with um, food getting cold during a meal. And that was the start of dining, dining stones. stones. Oh my gosh! Well, how many people wish they could act upon something they've thought about, and you did just that. So, take us inside and share and show us your dining stones. Thank you. I will. All right. Join us inside where Deb is going to tell us more about her fabulous invention and the story of accomplishing her dream after the break on Metro Woman. Today on Metro Woman, it's all about women inventors and entrepreneurs. I'm with Deb Chance, the creator and owner of Dining Stones, stylish stones that you can heat up or freeze to keep your food at the temperature you want. I'm at Deb's beautiful home in Batavia to talk with her about how she got started. Well, Deb, this looks so interesting. It's so simple, but yet such a great idea. And I just can't wait to hear how you came up with it, why you came up with it, and where you've gone with it so far. So tell us about the Dining Stone. Okay, when I came up with the idea of using a flat, hard granite stone, mm -hmm. um, I, I visited a company in Fairfield, Iowa, to have them actually create my vision of having a round stone because I, I figured that typical plates were round. Sure. Um, I kind of measured, kind of averaged about nine inches. Okay. And um, and so then then this company, Creative Edge in in Fairfield, actually put this all together for me. They they are a water jet organization, so they it cuts stone uh, through with actual high pressure water, which I thought was fascinating. Oh, rather than a saw. Correct. And the reason for that being? I, I, apparently it's more precise. It's a, and does it, it create some smoother S edges? Correct, without oh. being jagged. Okay. They create a prototype for me. We, we 
looked at the different stone colors, came up together with some ideas of names. Uh, this is the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. We have a blackberry, and we also have a um, salt and pepper. Okay. So they help name it. So right now, three choices of colors. Correct. And your plate. The wood tray is, is also tray. an Iowa product. Okay. Uh, at Cedar Falls, a company called Wood Components. Mm -hmm. They have a CNC computerized. Uh, program where they just put the piece of wood in, it, it zip zip cuts, and then at the end there's your end product. So it, there's no mm -hmm. um, backlog of refinishing or anything that it's, sure. it's completely done when it's when it goes through that machine. Right. They created a prototype for me. Uh, we went through a process of, uh, I think first we had uh, less. Sharp, it was a little bit sharper edges, okay. so I wanted it more rounded so mm -hmm. that we came up with this idea. And they provided three different wood species. So it's the um, uh, maple, ash, and uh, cherry. Nice, because that would fit in any decor then. Right. Yeah. Well, I think it's so neat that you were able to find all the help and the, the actual construction of your product right here, uh, right in your backyard. Yeah, right here. And you're working with people you know. Now, and I'm sure you're shipping all over the country, you said? National so, and national. international. I Gosh, got tell me some of the places these are being sent. Australia, China, Turkey, Europe. Um, it just seems like it, the, this one particular um, online article, uh, Springwise is the name of the magazine, it's an online magazine. Uh, they wrote an article about it, picked up on it, and uh, from there I've had a lot of visitors on the website oh my gosh. that actually um, you know want to purchase and have right. a ship over there at that you know it's a little bit more expensive to ship international sure. but right I, tell me more about the uses and how this can become part of a, a dining experience and uh, some of your ideas with okay. it okay uh, well it's great uh, because it's a natural stone and we use granite only mm -hmm. uh, you can heat it and you can cool it not okay. at the same time of course, of course. but uh, for the heating purpose you put it in the in the oven mm -hmm. and then we're also researching microwaving it there's actually science behind that sure um, and I'm gonna pop that up with a little hole in the back okay. so that everybody can see the stone itself it just comes, just right, comes out. right out simple little piece right and it's, then you can put that in your oven that is exactly right you and how how long does it take to get actually warm? 350 degrees for about 15 minutes okay make sure it's 15 minutes it can go longer okay. because it, nothing will can happen you, to you it. You can't overcook it. You can't overcook it. In <laughs> okay. fact, one of the things I do, because I want to remember to, yeah. to have it hot, uh, when I go to fix my casserole or fix my meal, sure. I put it in the oven at the same time. So it heats right along with oh. the meal. Oh. Yeah. That's a good idea because my luck, I'd have the casserole done and the stone is still cold. So <laughs> right. do it right away. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> so great idea. Yeah. Put it right in because, like you say, you can't hurt it. So that could go on the lower right, the, ro the lower, lower rack. rack or something. Okay. And at the same time, since it's a natural product, it can be cooled. I always put it in the freezer. Sure. I keep the smaller ones. We have six-inch rounds, and I put those in the freezer. They're kept there all the time. And then they're ready. Just whenever I'm, oh, I'm done, they're sure. Pop just them pop right it out, out, out and put it right in. And mm -hmm. she has this little felt, felt. Uh, circle that goes in the bottom, so it doesn't scratch. Right. And then you can just lay that right in there. It also is a nice diffuser between the the hot stone and the oh, tray. and the wood, of mm -hmm. course. Very nice. Okay. Well, I can just see so many uses for this. I mean, in a dinner setting, in a party setting, when you're having hors d'oeuvres, and right. you hate to think of your food sitting out too long or, right. or when you want it cold, it's gotten warm. So how nice. More with Deb when we come back on Metro Woman.